This is the wall of the stomach with gastric ulcer. Gastric ulcer is a localized defect of the gastric wall, and in this case it penetrates uh, the whole submucosa and it penetrates into superficial portion of lamina muscularis propria. It is commonly associated with H. pylori gastritis. However, it can be also caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug use. Another typical uh, cause is a gastrinoma, which is neuroendocrine tumor producing gastrin. Uh, it is also called zollinger ellison syndrome. In the edge of the ulcer, we can see the gastric folds with hyperemia and also with uh, chronic active inflammation. And if we go closer, we can find that on the surface uh, of the peptic ulcer, we can find uh, the fibrinous purulent exudate, which consists of uh, fibrin together with dense neutrophilic infiltration. So all of these cells are with multinobated nuclei. Those are neutrophils. Some of them are uh, chorioretic. And if we go deeper, we can find the layer of granulation tissue, which consists of small capillaries, a lot of fibroblasts and collagen fibers. And also here we can find some uh, inflammatory cells, mostly lymphocytes and eosinophils. However, some neutrophils are present as well. If we take a look to the adjacent mucosa, we can find that uh, we are in the gastric antrum. Here we have the gastric antral glands. And uh, in the lamina propria, we can see the inf inflammation, uh, which is chronic active inflammation composed of lymphocytes and also some neutrophils with multilobated nuclei. So very probably um, the cause of the peptic ulcer in this case is chronic active gastritis, uh, probably associated with H. pylori infection. Both H. pylori gastritis and peptic ulcers bear slightly increased risk of gastric adenocarcinoma. Thanks for watching.